Greetings. My name is Joseph. Uh, I'm a self-proclaimed sneakerhead. I work at SneakerCon slash eBay. Uh, for the last few weeks, I just got the job and everything. I love it. Um, what has started out as a hobby turned out to be a job. Um, so I'm an authenticator. What happens is people order from eBay willy-nilly. Um, eBay has an authenticator program um, like Go, Flight Club, StockX. You know, they have their own authenticators. Um, what they do is people order from eBay. And what they'll do is they'll, the merchant will ship it to us. Uh, we authenticate it, tag it, make sure that everything checks out, make sure the stitching is right, make sure the color is right, weight, everything, uh, you know, even the box, you know, um, we even came across a lot of uh, authentic sneakers, rare editions, we even, even came across some fakes that we had to, you know, send them back or whatever, but um, it's a really cool job, it's out in Queens, New York, um, I live in New Jersey, you know, so the, my commute is a beast, but Man, I ain't complaining, man. You know, I'm, I'm getting that money. So, you know, the reason I'm on here today and the reason I have on these uh, certain, these doctor gloves is because I actually um, am a collector myself. I've been collecting for 20 years and stuff like that. Um, I started off collecting uh, comic books and, you know, uh, baseball cards, football cards, me and my brother. Just a whole bunch of weird shit like that. Hopefully it gains in value. If it don't, it's cool too. It's, it's something cool to look at in my opinion. But um, I have over 60 pairs of sneakers currently right now. My dream is to open up a sneaker store one day. Right now I own a store on eBay called uh, Kicks is My Passion uh, 2012 on eBay. That's that's my eBay uh, name. And, um, you know, sometimes... You know, most most of the time I'm on there, I'm buying as as opposed to selling. But you know, they, you know, who can't complain? And I I, I buy it because I want it. You know, so I got the money to do so. So hey, um, well, long story short, um, as I said, I have a whole bunch of sneakers, and my collection is very eclectic. I uh, have sneakers that, um, that pretty much nobody else has or probably only a few people in the world have to be the you know not to be not to sound pretentious you know but i think that may be the case man because I, I i'm a fan of all sneakers but you know um when i see people wearing the same stuff all the time you know i'm like i'm kind of different i always go left when everybody else is going right so um, that's that's me. So that's the reason why my sneaker collection is very different, you know, but I'm proud of it You know, hopefully I'll get to show it to y'all one day, but uh, nonetheless um, I just ordered me some brand new sneakers and everything and I just wanted to, you know, do the unboxing here um, So just like I said, I got my little surgeon gloves on I got my little razor blade and everything to cut the box open and I wanted to show you what they are, you know, because th these sneakers, I even even though I um I had other priorities with uh with my money this week, I actually I had to have them because they were so I was sitting on them for about a week, and every time I went to Champs and Foot Locker and Jimmy Jazz, man, they were just selling, selling. People, were, yeah, they was going crazy buying these things, so. Nonetheless, man, I don't want to bore y'all with my story. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up these, this box for you real quick. You know, these sneakers I actually bought from Jimmy Jazz. And crazy story behind this, man. Like the warehouse is the warehouse for Jimmy Jazz is less than ten miles from my house, but. FedEx sent it all the way to Pennsylvania to get verified to send it back here. You know what I'm saying? I was kind of tight about that, man. And I let them know that when I called them on Thursday. But, you know, today is Saturday and they're, and they're here. You know, so. I don't know if you can see the, well, here, here you go. I'm going to turn the right side up, you know. I don't want to make the dyslexic people crazy, but these are actually the Nerf 
Rebox. And it's a pretty nice box too, to be honest with you. I don't, oh. Yeah, this is a pretty dope box, to be honest with you. So yeah, like Nerf was very integral for my childhood and everything. I don't know any child that came from the 90s that didn't have a Nerf ball, a Nerf hoop, or Nerf football, you know. You know, like when you talk about the 90s, you're talking about, well, my version of the 90s. You're talking about Super Nintendo. You're talking about Sega Genesis. You're talking about Game Boy. You're talking about Game Gear. You're talking about British Knights. You're talking about Reebok Pumps, which is exactly what these are. Um, you're talking about the D.A.R.E. program, which I was a part of, you know, um, what else? High Top Fades, uh, did I mention British Knights? Um, <laughs> HBO, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, me and my brother used to sneak, uh, you know, uh, and, and watch Def Comedy Jam. Yeah, it was just a whole bunch of stuff that I can name, man. It brings a smile to my face that I can remember the 90s that finally, man, because I honestly believe that was the best decade ever. And, you know, I don't I don't want to sound crazy, man, because I know there's people older than me and stuff like that. They're like, no, you know, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, you know, but hey, you know, that's just me. So but just like I said, I'm going to open this, this box and everything, and I'm going to show you what these what these things are about. Fresh looking. Oh, Jesus, these things are bright. <laughs> Yo, these things are super bright. So I bought these in not in size 10. Um, depending on what kind of sneaker it is, I actually wear three different sizes. I go, I can wear from a nine and a half to like a ten and a half. So um yeah these are actually pretty sweet you know i'm the, you know what as i'm sitting here looking at these i'm actually deciding if i should wear these they're like you know they look at the little even pump right here the reebok pump in the in the nerf you know so yeah this is what they are you know what i'm saying so here's the style code and the information and everything so like if you feel like copping them I'm pretty sure they're sold out everywhere right now. Um, these retail for $170. So um, <clears throat> I feel sorry for people who have to go on StockX and go and Flight Club. You know what I'm saying? Because, yo, they be raping people with, with their prices. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just, it's a lot, man. Um... You know, so yeah, these are actually, they're pretty sturdy too. They're, you know, they got a nice weight to them, but they're, they are bright. But these, honestly, these are uh, um, a summer sneaker. Honestly, I might just throw these in. I might put these on ice and buy me another pair later on down the road, man. Because I'm not really pressed, you know, to, um, you know, to, I'm not really pressed, like, to rock them or anything like that, man, but... Maybe if it's a special occasion, if I meet a fly chick or something like that, or, you know, if I kind of want to stand out at, like, a party or a cookout, I might throw these on. Emphasis on might. I'm not sure, but, yeah. So, here's, here they are right here. Here's the other, here's the other, here's the other one. These sneakers are actually really, really well made. Well constructed, like, and they're... They're gorgeous, man. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, yo, this reminds me of the 90s because you remember how everybody in the 90s was wearing really, really bright colors and some of them didn't match and stuff like that, you know? So, like, yeah, we wore a lot of acid wash. We wore a lot of pastels in the 90s and stuff like that, you know? Not as much as the 80s, though, because I do remember that whole Miami Vice wave and everything. So, um, speaking of Miami, you know, um, 
I know like they have an art deco section, you know, um, on South Beach and everything where all the buildings are painted like colors like this. So yeah, this these actually do remind me of like a tropical like area or something like that, you know, like a beach setting or like somewhere somewhere norm somewhere warm with a you know a really really big social scene. So but yo, these these are these are fire. I'm I'm not even gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? And um they also had came out, Reebok had also dropped um another edition of these um but they're like purple pink and black you know um this was the more popular colorway but i'm looking to actually get those maybe i'm gonna have to go on like a site overseas and or in order to get them because they're pretty much sold out in america but then again you know um if you want to if you if you want to hit me up you know just like i said i work for sneaker con um a story and everything and you know, I have a whole bunch of information on um, on new drops. I have the sneakers app on my phone. I follow Gold, Flight Club, StockX, and all of that stuff. So, and just like I said, I have a pretty big collection myself. So, if you just need any advice or anything, or, you know, even if you want me to look for a particular sneaker for you, you can always hit me up. You know, my email is joeboxer2017 at gmail.com. Um, I would give you my number, but for security reasons, I don't think that's that's uh, allowed you know, on social media. So, yeah, if you want to hit me up, just hit, you hit me up, you know, anytime, day or night. All right. This is Joseph, you know, doing a review on, on the Pump Omni um, Zone basketball sneakers. These are made by Reebok, you know, in the, um, in, in the exact... Um, in the exact form of the Reebok pumps. So, again, here they are. Y'all have a good day. Peace.